Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Autonotom. And this week we are going to be making um this fanciest energy storage. Oh no, not what I wanted to do. Mechanical upgrades and it's the induction matrix. And I started to make stuff, which is fine. Then I got to the basic induction cell and um, realized that I needed to make lithium. Because if we go to basic induction, uh, basic induction cell, you need the basic energy cube for tablets and lithium dust. And I was like, okay, but I don't think I've ever mined any lithium. Then had a look and it's like, oh, it's, Oh, I still need to make this. I don't think I've made the crystal chemicalizer. Chemical crystallizer. Okay, but lithium is a liquid. And then trying to find out how do you get lithium, because it keeps telling me that lithium liquid comes from lithium dust. Yeah, I get that, but where'd you get lithium dust? It was going around in a circle. And finally, I think what I did was type in lithium. I promise you I can spell sometimes. Um, <laughs> lithium. Uh, how did I find it? Liquid lithium? There you go. The thermal controller. So if you put in brine and put it through the thermal controller, you get out lithium. So that's what I went downstairs to do. So I took some brine out Oh, uh, no, we don't want it to go into there. We want it to come straight out and into a tank. I have a tank, right? Yes, I do have an ultimate tank. Let's put you here. And the wrench, I've configured it to, um, for gases. If you remember, it was... If you scroll your mouse, no, not scroll your mouse wheel, shift and scroll. So that's to configure items, that's for fluids. And then I need to make sure that the piece of pipe that I want highlighted, the piece of pipe that's highlighted is the piece I want to connect or disconnect. And then shift and left click, no, shift and right click, no. Yes, connection type, pull, push, none normal pull push none okay that should go straight down here um normal push pull we want it to pull and here we want it to push and there should be none so it should go from here into there and back out. Do we need the pump? I don't know. I don't think I configured this either. Right. Uh, basic mechanism type. Push, pull. It should be pulling it in. No, 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 no. We don't want it to. Oh, I think this is going to fill up. Okay. That's where I should have um, disconnected it. But it's going straight into here. It is going in. Because if I shift click, yes, it's going in slowly. Okay. It's working. Let's have a look at this. Uh, no. Uh, the controller. Alright, well, that's empty. But we're getting lithium. We're getting it. We're getting it. Okay. So it's not too bad. Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that is enough. I don't know. Okay. It's not a lot though. It's not a lot. It. Maybe we need to um, 
run a pipe across. I don't even know if I have enough pipe. But anyhow, that's enough to start with. Let's see how much we can get from this. Doesn't seem like a lot because... You know what, I didn't even check to see if there was anything left in the tank. No, that's empty. That's empty. And to be honest, we could have put the tank in here rather than using the pipe. Didn't think about that one. Alright, that's pull. Where's the wrench? And that's push. Let's take this off for now. Yeah, I could have just put the, the tanks in there rather than changing the pipes, but it's it was good practice changing the pipes. Let's go forward a little bit more. Let's push, we want it to pull. And we want that to push. Turn it on, and it should work again. Water, yes. And that is going in. Awesome. Right, so... Um, what did it say that we need? The chemical... Chemical crystallizer. Alright, lithium dust. Lithium dust, chemical crystallizer. I don't believe we have a chemical crystallizer. And it's not giving me a an amount, it's just saying lithium will give you lithium dust. Alright, um what's here? Electrolyte separator uh, what? Electrolytic separator, chemical injection chamber, chemical infuser. Alright, uh crystal crystalline? Okay, two L's. Yes. Can we make this? Do we have this? Uh, basic fuel tanks. We might have some in our backpack. That's a gas tank. Alright. Um, Alright. So we need steel casing, which we have. We need... Was it? It's missing. Everything else apart from the gas tanks. So you want two of those and we have our crystallizer okay so let's go put this down then oh you know what we should have bought some cable with us oh no we don't need cable we could just put it on top of what we have i think all right let's put it there all right that has power can i put that there no do i have to pipe it in um transporter config okay that's not what we want that's empty okay that's probably not what i needed to do all right let's put that to here and pipe no that's not liking that no but then again hold on um push pull and then this side help if we could see what we were doing nope doesn't like that um, transporter config input side dark blue dark green aqua okay are these just strict input all right it's not what we want all right can we put it in nope Okay, um, what do we know from the other machines? Where did you go? Oh, okay. 
Uh, crystalline, put that there. Move the pipe. And I just got him put a hole in the wall. That was smart, Shane, very smart. Um, but how do we... Well, maybe we have to bucket, bucket it in. Do we have a bucket? We have a bucket. Except that... There you go. Nope. Side config. Oh, gas purple. None. Gases. Energy. What? Is lithium a... Is this a gas? I don't know. Um, clean iron slurry. Slurry is not a gas. That's a liquid. But how do you... A gaseous, gaseous brine. And lithium. And chemical oxidizer. Okay, I'm totally lost now. Because slurry is not a gas. It's a... Oh, redstone. No, we want it to be disabled. Um, is that the... Oh, I don't know. I wish these machines were a bit more intuitive. Alright, I'm going to have to go have a look. See if I can find out what I'm doing wrong. And then come back because that was... I, I don't know why I thought that I should be able to work out, but obviously not. So, um, so yeah, so I will be back in a minute. Okay, found out what the problem is. When we get the lithium from the um when we get the lithium from the thermal evaporator, it's liquid lithium and not lithium. So I had to make a rotary condensator, which is why that kept popping up. Put the liquid lithium in there, and that will make lithium on this side. Alright, so if I put that no okay and i had to make sure that it's condensing so you change you change the operation from toggle operation you can either condense it or decondent decondense it no conden condensate it or deconcent oh you know what i mean decondensate it yeah so that's what we're doing and we're making lithium so I should be able to put the tank on this side. No, because it's still not going to, it's, we need a output. So if I put a, you gun, you don't like that either, do you? Where's my wrench? No, it's probably against the back. Every time I see that that animation where it kind of like looks like it's about to shatter into tiny fragments, it just freaks me out. Okay, um, is it night time? Yes, it is night time. I want to be able to see the back of this machine. Although... We should be eight no it's upgrades. No, you can't configure input and output. Okay. You can't configure input and output. So we must be able to get this out somehow. Alright, let's go and sleep and then I'll have a look outside and see if I can see what's behind this machine. Just when I think everything is, because uh, I was looking at everything, it's like, yeah, this should be fine. We should be able to do it. Not a problem. There is always a problem. Always. All right. Are there any nasties outside the base? Can I look outside? I can't. Where am I going? This way? 
I'm trying to see on the mini map if there's anything outside that we should be. No, there's nothing on this side of the base. Nothing close, anyway. We've got a zombie villager on there. But nothing. Alright, let's put this brick back. And then let's go outside and have a look. Um, is this input, output? Nope, it's not. No, hold on. That's the rotary conden... con... or oh, whatever. Condensentrator. Alright, there's nothing around. There was one time I was outside doing stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, wasn't paying much attention and the creeper blew up next to me. Luckily, didn't get anything. It didn't get me. But that was kind of like, okay. Yeah, it doesn't want to wrench configurate fluids. Yeah, doesn't want to. Okay. Yeah, that animation where it just looks like it's going to fragment into a million pieces. It just... What freaks me out. Uh, where did we put? It's probably on the inside. And maybe not. I don't know. Right. So is this finished? No, it's not finished. But... Um, can I use a bucket on it? Liquid lithium and gas lithium. Oh, okay. But how do... So... Does this need a gas tank? Is that a gas? Is that why... Okay, maybe I need to make a, 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 a gas tank. I have one here. There you go. Alright, well that would explain why that didn't work. Because it's turned it from a liquid to a gas. I didn't realise that lithium could be a gas. Alright, well then let's take this out. And then put this into where are we gas tank there you go so then that should give us lithium dust but that's pretty cool right so we're getting lithium dust i probably need to make another gas tank i think i needed one for something which is why i had it in my in my inventory Okay, I'm glad we worked that out. All right, let's go see how much lithium dust we actually need. Okay, um, induction. No, I have the induction port. We want the induction cell. How many of those do we need? I know I didn't even check. One induction cell, one induction provider. Okay. Induction cell. And we need four lithium for that. And then the induction provider. How do we need any lithium for that? Induction provider. And we need four lithium for that, plus another energy cube. I don't think we have another energy cube. Shove you in there. Energy. Okay, so we need... Oh, wait a minute, how many energy cubes do we have? Didn't we make two? Energy. Oh. 
cube. All right, there's another one. They stack. Cool. So put you no induction. I don't know why it doesn't like to, because sometimes it doesn't like to pull the energy tablets, but now it is, which is quite bizarre. Right, let's go and see if our lithium dust is ready. And then other times it doesn't want to pull mechanism stuff in, even though it's in there. It's really annoying. Okay, we got 17. That is awesome. Okay, so we have our lithium dust. All right, that's a basic induction cell. And then we want induction point, is it? Induction port. Was it the induction port? Am I making that up? No, we have an induction port. We want two induction providers. Two? Did I read that wrong? Yes. I was reading induction port and I saw two and it's like, yeah, we need two. Induction provider. See, I told you I was making that up. Induction provider. And basic energy cell induction provider. And we have that. Awesome. Now, what does it say we need to do? The induction, ma induction matrix is a multi-block structure made up of four components, casings, ports, providers, and cells. The induction matrix can be up to 18 by 18 by 18 in size and requires at least one provider and one cell. All edges of the structure must be casings, but the facing can be any, but the faces can be any conduct conduction read slow down shane slow down right but the faces can be any combination of cases and ports induction ports are the blocks used for input and output from the matrix you'll probably want at least two of these one for input one for output induction cells are the blocks that use that actually store the energy these are placed inside the structure and can be of any tier even differing tiers the capabilities of all the cells are added together to determine the maximum capacity of the matrix product no induction providers are blocks that determine how much energy can be output from the matrix per tick if multiple providers are present the transfer rates are added together to create a total output rate for the matrix. Note that this is not per port, but for the whole matrix. Similarly to cells, you can use differing tiers of providers. Note that this is not required. It is not required that the providers be placed next to the ports. And there's more. The interior of the matrix does not need to be filled with cells and providers as long as each one one of each is present, the matrix multi-block will form and you should see red particles when that happens. The blocks required for this quest will build you the smallest pot of all matrix with a single provider, a cell and two ports. Okay. And we can either get an advanced induction cell or advanced induction provider. And the provider, how much energy can be output and the cell actually stores the energy. How, which one is the, how easy are these to make? All right, advanced. All right, so the cell, you need four basic cells and an advanced energy cube and the provider. Oh, I don't know. That's the output. I guess it would be better to get the induction cell capacity I think the induction cell okay all right let's get the induction cell the advanced cell okay it's oh it's sunset let's go and sleep and then we can set this up outside Okay, so this says it will give us the smallest possible matrix, which is three by three by three, I'm guessing. 
Um, well, there's our old woot factory. Is there anything out here? Nope. Everything is done or dying. All right, should we put it up here next to our windmill? At least. I have these set up, but I did move. I need to get rid of these because I don't have the um. I don't have this running anymore. I don't really need it. It was done, but don't really need it. So let's take these down and let's set up our cell here. Oh, pickaxe. There's me trying to break it, then I would permanently break it. Okay. All right, we've got these going. So I'm guessing you've got to set this up like, um, I made more than I needed. I might as well put it all together. Basic induction cell. Where's the other cell? Advanced induction cell. Did it say it had to be any, it could be any shape? Um, the edges must be, all right, I'm guessing it must be in a square. Instead of three by, I'm guessing the smallest is a three by three by three. Base, I'm assuming, must be the edges. Those are edges. These are edges. I don't know, do these constitute edges, these bits here in the middle? So only one way to find out. Um, we need an induction port and said you need two, right? One for input, one for output. Might as well put the cells in the middle and then surround, what is this we have? Provider. Well, let's put you there. And then I'm guessing we can cover everything else. It says if it works, we get red particles. And do we need to cover the... No, I'm guessing we don't need to cover the top. But I'm not seeing any red particles. Three by three. Have to be three high. If it's three by three by three, it's going to be three high. Shane? Yeah. Um, all right, let's... Uh, these are two cells. That's right. Where did we put the port? Port is the provider is there. No red particles. I suspect the provider is in the wrong place. All right, let's put you um take you out. Put the provider where is Have we lost the provider? We didn't lose the provider. All right, let's put you there. Nope, still no red particles. I know I've set it up wrong. Oh yeah, this probably needs to move then. Let's, nope, still no red particles. All right, this is an edge. I don't think we have anything on the outside edges. <sighs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, so first of all, I was wrong. The smallest is not three by three by three, it's four by three by three right so that was wrong and then next you set it up so that it's like a tunnel with this tube in the middle so you put all the edges around it and you leave this bit hollow in the middle induction port on the end then you need uh the provider Then, um, where's my other, oh, right. We'll put in the advanced energy cell and then the other um, port. You saw the red particles. And then if we look, is the input, the output, not sure what that's for, but I'm sure we'll find out. And this is everything that's being this is all the energy that's being stored. But that is our fancy energy thing. 
and it says it can be expanded to 18 by 18 by 18 which is why I thought it would have been 3 by 3 by 3 but um, I guess as long as it's a cube or a rectangle then it should work I don't know if it always has to be in that kind of tunnel shape but um but yeah I guess what we'd have to do is take off well actually take out this bit add another eight around it actually let's try that because we do have or did I shove them all in no we have another eight we can try all right so right now um the 3.2 GRF okay let's take this out um, put the other induction cell put the port there and then put the casing around it and again if this works we should get red particles and now it's 3.6 so we got um, 0.4 increase okay not bad but now we have our energy matrix we can start in putting energy into this so um i think there's a there's a biofuel option with mechanism uh, master processor sulfuric acid we're gonna have to do this in order to get any further because I'm guessing there's got to be stuff out here so we're gonna have to at least produce these in order to get any further and then we can look at making our um well in the meantime we can look at making our resource miners so we can do this next time I think that's what we'll do I'm still wanting to know what comes under phenomenal cosmic power but I don't know so oh wrong thing so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching bye bye